So, heatwave is here. Europe is already cooking and North America is next. Everyone's talking about sunburns and dogs on tarmac, but no one, and I mean no one, is talking about the burns that are happening every single day to real people right now. Not the textbook ones, not the ones you learn about in med school. I'm talking about the ones I've seen in five different patients in the past two weeks. Sir, stay calm. So I did something. I took a setup. Regular street, parked car, bike, garden hose, water bottle, and dog bowl. I left it outside in the sun just for a few hours. What happened next, it shocked even me. First, the car seat. Everyone knows a hot car is dangerous. You don't leave your pets or your kids inside. But no one talks about the child car seat itself. That thing turns into a frying pan. After just two hours, the seat in my test hit 50 degrees Celsius. That's not just uncomfortable, that's bent territory. But we still don't talk about it. Then there was a bike seat. Last week, a five-year-old boy came into hospital with bends on his groin. He rode to a friend's house, left the bike outside, went to play and rode it back. 10 minutes on a seat that had been in direct sunlight. 10 minutes, that's all it took. I see a lot of burns. That one stuck with me. And there was uh, the water bottle. Uh, you've seen them everywhere. Stainless steel, eco-friendly, indestructible, uh, good for the planet, not always perfect for skin. I saw a kid burn her mouth on one, okay? She left the bottle in the park, went to play, came back and took a sip. My test showed those bottles filled with water that started at room temperature hit between 40 to 60 degrees in just two hours of sunlight. <sighs> Same goes for the garden hose. That one is really sneaky. You think, hey, it's hot, let's cool the kids off. You grab the hose, spray it, everyone uh, screams and laughs, but you know what? If that hose has been sitting in the sun, the water inside can come out scalding. I attended um, a child last week with circumferential burns from that exact scenario. And the weirdest one, a metal dog bowl. Simple, innocent, left outside a shop. An older woman accidentally kicked it and got splashed. The water inside had been sitting under direct sunlight. The metal bowl turned into a solar collector. In our test, water, 50 degrees. That's hot enough to burn. And not just humans, dogs get burned tongues and paws from these bowls all the time. But again, no one is clocking it. There's one thing I always tell people. You don't need fancy burn gels or silver dressings for first aid. All you really need is water. Tepid, not cold, not icy just cool running water for at least 20 minutes, okay? That's the gold standard. Still is. My name is Alex Hetner. <sighs> and that was group call.